Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a super exciting video dedicated to a specific brand. As you guys know, I don't do brand dedicated videos too often unless I really, really am obsessed with a certain brand, which is the case in this video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Mask Milano fragrances. So I am really, really looking forward to it. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand. You probably are because it is quite a popular niche brand. I am just absolutely in love with it. I met the founders in Milan just recently and I just love the concept. I feel like nowadays it's quite hard for niche brands to stand out and actually deliver something quite unique and different. And I really feel like Musk Milato from the concept to the juice to the bottles to everything about the brand, they really manage to stand out from everyone else. So today's video is in collaboration with The Scent House, which is the US distributor of Musk Milano. And I will have some links down below of where you can find the fragrances, but you can find them at Max Aroma, uh, Lucky Scent, Osme Perfumery, and The Scent Room. I was saying quite a lot of the fragrances, but I only wanted to talk about my favorites in this video. So we have quite a few, quite a uh, diverse range of fragrances to say the least and I'm just really looking forward to it. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with this fragrance right here, which is called Madeline. Now, when I first smelled this fragrance, I was taken aback because for me, this fragrance is such a unique gourmand in a very unexpected way. Madeline is a very, 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 let me say that again, very creamy lactonic scent. You feel like it's very milky. It almost smells like a dessert. It's milky, it's creamy. It has a nuttiness to it from some chestnut. There is whipped cream. There is a bit of florals underneath. But overall for me, I get this extremely lactonic fragrance, like as lactonic as you can get. And you definitely feel the nuttiness behind. It almost has something a little bit earthy in the fragrance. But overall, you get this super lactonic, creamy fragrance, very nutty, a little bit earthy, and it is slightly sweet, but I feel like the gourmand aspect of the scent is really coming, coming? <laughs> the gourmand aspect of this fragrance is coming from that milky creaminess. So more so than like a sweetness. Really love it. If you're looking for a unique gourmand and you're really into lactonic fragrances that make you feel cocooning and warm and cozy, this fragrance is perfect. I feel like it would work super well in the very, very extreme cold weather. I feel like it would be almost like a blanket for you. I personally really like to wear this one to bed because it puts me in this like very cozy cocooning mood, but it is a fantastic gourmand fragrance. So next up we have Mandala, which is from one of my favorite perfumers, Christian Carbonell or Chris Maurice. Uh, whatever you want to say, but he is definitely one of my favorite perfumers. He made pretty much all of the Zerzhovs. He's made some from Nishane, my favorite from Nishane actually. And he's obviously made Mandala from Mas Milano, which I absolutely love. This fragrance for me, it makes me travel. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I smell this fragrance, I'm transported to Oman. Mandala for me is an incredible spicy oriental fragrance. It's very dry, it's very balsamic, and it really reminds me of walking through the souk in Oman. There is a lot of frankincense in here. There is that really resinous vibe. It almost has this like cold spiciness to it. A little bit smoky almost as well. A slightly green touch too. I'm not sure where the green touch is coming from, but I definitely pick up something slightly green in there. I really love fragrances that make me travel to a certain place or a certain time in my life. And for me, Mandala, it really makes me think of Oman and it mentally transports me back to all the trips that I've had to Oman because that's what it smells like for me. A spice bazaar at night. There's all of the incense going around the room. It's hot. Love, love, love this one. Next up, we have Reflection. Now, this is definitely one of my favorites and probably the one that I've been wearing the most, aside from another one that I'm going to talk about after. But Reflection for me, it's such an easy reach fragrance. It's just beautiful. Let me go ahead and spray it and tell you guys what I think. So at first when I smelled this fragrance, I'm going to be honest, I was not very impressed with it until I started to actually wear it on my skin and live my life wearing it. I know this is gonna sound really, really, really cheesy, but it smells like happiness to me. 
there is something so happy and calming about this scent. There is mimosa, there is some floral notes in there. I think there is some outer hides as well, but not very strong. You definitely don't feel the outer hides too much in the scent because I'm not a big fan of outer hides personally, only in very, very, very certain situations. You have some beeswax in there to give it kind of like this warm, almost like balmy creaminess, but not too much. You have mimosa, you have a little bit of citrus in the top, which kind of brings more of a lightness to the scent. And overall, it is just beautiful. Like, I don't want to compare it to the sun because it has solar notes in it. But honestly, when I smell this fragrance, it smells like a sunny day. It still kind of maintains a freshness throughout the whole scent. It never becomes too weighed down or too creamy or too heavy. It still has a lightness to it, which I love. And for me, this is such an easy reach fragrance. I just absolutely love this one. It is beautiful. And I love the beeswax note in here because I definitely feel like it comes out a lot more on my skin. Next up, we have Petra, which the perfumer behind this fragrance is Cecile Zarokian. Uh, who I love. I absolutely adore Cecile. She's so nice and obviously very, very, very extremely talented. For me, this is a beautiful, fresh, sharp, almost citrusy patchouli fragrance with a sweetness to it. There is a slight fruity sweetness in there, but not too much. I would say the more like fresh citrusy, uh, zingy sort of notes overpower the sweetness. And it has this beautiful patchouli in this fragrance. It's the patchouli that I love. I'm not a big fan of dirty patchouli fragrances. I like my patchouli more like in Petra, where it's kind of fresh and slightly green and a little like spicy almost. And it just smells fantastic. I absolutely love this one, but I do have to say I prefer Cecile's other fragrance from Mas Milano that I'm going to talk about in a minute. I'm sure that a lot of you women watching me would really love Petra because it is quite an easy reach fragrance that you can wear every day. I do feel like it would be the perfect signature scent for a woman. You can wear it to work, you can wear it on a date, you can wear it running errands, you can wear it anytime, anywhere. Kind of same with Reflection. They're completely different compositions and they go in completely different directions, but I feel like they both could serve the same purpose of being this more like um, signature scent all year round, all day, all seasons, all occasions sort of scent. Definitely both of them could fit into that mold. And Petra is fantastic. I think a lot of you women would love this one, especially for a signature scent. Okay, so next up we have Slate of Fern, which is a newer release from the brand. And actually when I was talking with the founder, he was really surprised that I liked this fragrance, actually. When I was speaking with him, he was really shocked that actually I love this fragrance and I think it's super unique and special. Wow. I don't know what it is about this fragrance, but it always just catches my attention. I will say this is something that I would rather smell on a man than I, than I would rather wear on myself. I still wanted to put it in this video for any of you men that are watching me and wanted to try something unique, definitely get your hands on Slate of Fern. Notes that you would not necessarily think of putting together, they put together in this fragrance and for some reason I love the way it smells and I think it works really, really well. There is lavender, there is thyme, there is geranium, so you have this kind of aromatic feeling overall a little bit spicy, a bit dry. There is a freshness overall to this scent, but there is a smokiness underneath. Not too much, not too much where it feels polarizing to your nose and something that you wouldn't feel comfortable wearing. I definitely think a lot of people would really like this fragrance because there is this kind of almost dark, incense -y sort of feeling to the fragrance. You have the freshness, you have the aromatic notes, you have the geranium, the lavender, but then underneath you have this birch kind of smoky feeling underneath and it just smells fantastic in my opinion. A very mysterious guy, very expensive smelling fragrance that I just absolutely love. Next up we're going to talk about my favorite from the brand. This fragrance is called Lost Alice. This fragrance is right up my alley. This is exactly what I love in a fragrance. Warm, sweet, creamy, woody, a little musky underneath. I have to say something for all of you Gris Chanel lovers of BDK Parfum, try Lost Alice. They're different enough that you can have them both in your collection, but if you like BDK Gris Chanel, you're going to love Lost Alice. It's so beautiful. Like I said, it's warm, it's creamy, it's lactonic. There is a milk note in here. There is some tea. 
There is a beautiful ambrette note of being a sweet kind of musky feeling overall. You guys know me, this is exactly what I like. Up my alley, a sweet, warm, woody, creamy scent that feels very cocooning overall. That is Los Dallas for me and it is just amazing. So try this one, it has great longevity and projection. It smells fantastic and yeah. I just love this fragrance. Okay, and finally we have Tango, which is the other creation from Cecile. And this is definitely one of their most popular. I remember a lot of people talking about Tango and I always wanted to try it. I actually tried it with Cecile, I think two, last year maybe, and fell in love with it. Oh. For all of you deep balsamic ambery lovers, this is for you. This is actually Pierre's favorite fragrance from Mask Milano. He loves it. It's on his favorite shelf and he wears it whenever we go out at night because Pierre is a huge fan of deep, warm, balsamic, sweet, ambery, woody fragrances. And that is exactly Tango. It has amber, it has cumin, it has benzwin. I love the benzwin note in here. It smells like there is maybe some labdanum in here as well. It is just super warm, super intoxicating, really an incredible, incredible fragrance. Very sexy, very long lasting, very powerful. For any of you that love Grand Soir from MFK, Ombre Sultan from Serge Vuittons, you're going to love Tango, not because they all smell exactly the same. I'm just giving you a reference in case you didn't know what it smells like. I would say if you like those fragrances, you will love Tango because it is so special. It's very balsamic, very warm sweet, intoxicating, and very powerful. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching this little overview of my favorites from Mars Milano. Um, have you guys tried this brand? Because for me, it was more of a recent thing, like within the past year I tried them, but only because I couldn't find somewhere to test them in Dubai. Um, but otherwise I would have jumped on them long ago because I have heard about the brand for quite a long time and I love the brand. I'm really excited for all of their upcoming releases. I can't wait to see what else they're going to do because really the brand is very high quality, very luxurious and very conceptual. I feel like they're definitely a brand that stands out within the niche industry. So yeah, that is it. I will leave uh, where to find them down below and that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.